What's up guys? This is Year in Review 2021 and you're with Pyra, a singer, producer, artist from Bangkok, Thailand. Um, she's signed to Warner Music and yeah, you guys probably know me I guess. And I'm just gonna speak on behalf of the situation in Thailand. Yeah. Let's see. I think um, to really start, maybe we should discuss what has happened in 2020. And of course, we all know that it's horrendous. It's definitely not what we've planned. I'm sure that everybody probably thought 2020 is probably gonna be my year, but ha, like apparently it's nobody's year at all. Oh, festival, tours, shows canceled. Very disappointing because we got, I got um, an Asia tour planned out as well. And you know, the plan totally collapsed just like everybody else. So, you know, we're all in it together. No worries. Um, I think the last show I did was Garden Beats in Singapore, which was, you know, before the airport shut down as well. That's probably one of the last big concerts that happened. Um, yeah, that was in March. And then nothing until like, last two weeks which is the first week of December no the um, last week of November which I did my first festival after um, March it's called the Mystic Valley Festival pretty much um, an EDM electronic based festival happening in Khao Yai Thailand um, yeah uh, I almost forgot how to perform uh, been really long and I'm sure everybody has been really rusty and probably our mental health is collapsing in our quarantine as well because you know it's not easy at all living with whoever you're living with 24 hours a day and seven days a week I'm sure that a lot of our relationship family relationship has been shaken and also mine too my mental health is got really weird in quarantine but thankfully Thailand is one of the country that's least hit by the COVID-19 so we're quite back to normal we were in quarantine for maybe two three months but then now the clubs are open everybody can party although there's a second wave of COVID in which I'm also internally freaking out but still everyone acts like it's a normal thing now and I think we need to because our financial situation is the worst in I don't know how many year history but probably worse than the Y2K Tom Yum Gung crisis last time so I see shops closing down venues closing down and people going out of business which is really bad yeah I hope the vaccine will come to Southeast Asia soon so initially my plan into um 2020 was to go to the great escape festival in uk and then that failed as well and then the asia tour happening in november also didn't happen and all these festivals around Southeast Asia also didn't happen. So what I did as an artist with Warner Music, which is my label, is just releasing music and doing so much video content. You can go into my YouTube channel, you know, just search up Pyra, and you can see that there's a hell of a lot of content, really, just videos after videos. I feel like I'm 
like a YouTuber more than an artist now in this pandemic era. Which is fine, but it's not, it's really not what I wanted, but still we all gotta do what we can to survive in this weird time. And yeah, um, I'm pretty sure that everybody knows too that everybody's doing more content, live streams. But the thing is, I don't think live stream works in music because you know, you're lacking the light sound you're not feeling the bass it's just like you're watching another concert video which like I, I i don't get it why we have to pay when we can still watch it on youtube for free i mean you have to pay for the tickets but still the experience is so much different from paying to see festival don't take me wrong i I do live stream concerts too, and I want people to pay for it, but as what we see, the stats in Thailand, people doing it are not really selling tickets. So that's been rough because our consumer habit, Thai people don't really like to pay to begin with. That's why our numbers on YouTube are really high. People don't really subscribe to Spotify or Apple Music also because we're, you know, one of the poorer countries and I can understand that, you know, our government's pretty effed up and people are poor. Yeah, so that's the consumer insight. Um, yeah, if you want to do music in Thailand, you want to tour, you gotta, you know, decrease your price a bit or let them stream it on YouTube and get less royalty. That's, yeah, that's the nature of Thailand. Um, I did a lot of yeah live streams or content with a lot of brands like I did some um the one with Ableton I did one with um what's that hotel called in Indonesia I don't what's the name yeah, it's a partnership con content with Trippin. And did some with Wild City in India. And did a fest music festival in Japan. And also, oh, ISOL 8 in Australia. Yeah, so that's the festival I've been doing with my camera in my home studio. Uh, and now that we're in December, the last month of 2020, there's some good news lining up. Um, just, I got increase and in bookings for next year tour and the Great Escape Festival confirm me again. So hopefully we can go this year in May. Yep. and. I really hope we can travel by then. Now, one thing to be careful about in Thailand is I think the second wave is coming really now that some people got infected again and now the strain is the type that is really like contagious you know you get it quite easily and now it's spreading bangkok again so i'm freaking out so that's what we should really keep an eye on although big mountain is happening right now but yeah i don't know what's gonna happen in a week or two so gotta keep an eye on that Okay, and talking music. I think we um, probably see more animated music video from artists in quarantine, and we probably hear more quarantine type music 
and I think artists are reaching out to do more collaborations with each other because they can't travel so the easiest way to promote their music is and to capture international audience is through remixes and featuring so I think that's what we get a lot this year and probably next year as well so from my part I've just released this song called Foreign with Ramen Girl a super cool Indonesian rapper and we're also doing another song which is mine it's called Yellow Fever with a Japanese artist called Yayoi Diamond and this is gonna be my track with two featuring artists from Indonesia and from Japan and it's gonna be released in February and I'm also looking to do more collaborations with artists from the West as well we got a lot of collabs lining up just to make sure that we're able to capture that international audience when we can't travel And just a little touch on 2021. Um, definitely, I have hope, but I don't think the ye the number in the year makes that much difference. So we should still be cautious of things, although be very hopeful because we all need hope, definitely. And we hope, I hope, the music industry will be back to normal because that's probably what we're all waiting for and for those of you looking to do businesses in Thailand related to music I think um, we're still one of the countries that is probably safer to operate in than a lot of the other countries so yeah Thailand's fine but keep your news updated and don't catch the coronavirus you're with pyra an artist producer from thailand and this is my year in review thank you